I need to present the screen. Yes, so would you like to define Grobner basis first or? Okay, right. So let me write. So is it Grobner basis or Grobner basis? That I don't know that. Grobner, right? Because this this two dots on the top, yeah. So ordering on monomials, okay. So what is it? Term order, okay, so tell me. Uh, that you should uh, you can tell me uh, term order on monomials so where yeah okay n power n oh. okay do you mean this small oh sorry yeah right like this Just this. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And where is alpha? Right. Condition, uh, condition for what? Okay. okay. Let me... Alpha should be greater than equal to zero. And what is zero? Where?
Hmm. Yes. Right. Yeah. So, right. It is an. It is the end of a zero zero. And I. You also said the connection with monomials. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yes. So when you say this implies alpha plus C and something you're going to say, but I don't know what this means. Right. Uh, is this, this, this you have not defined, right? An order. Yes. So would you like to define that or you, would you like to continue? Uh, decide. Yes. Yeah. So it is then equal to zero for all i in one to n. Meaning, uh, see, so this is something which is very natural. This is an ordering, which is something which is very natural. You're putting an ordering coordinate wise. That's fine. But you still need to say it. Right. So that is, yeah. otherwise, how will I know what this is? And of course, the other thing is that you can also say that uh, I'm not defining this order right now. I mean, I'm just listing out some of its properties and from there we will actually, we can actually infer the definition. You can say that also, but you have to say one of them. Yeah. And now, so, so, hmm. Okay, so there is uh, another ordering um, using monomials. Okay. Okay. So there are, okay. So first question is, this ordering is where? On what? This ordering is right. Yes, it's, a, it's on n power n. And the ordering on the monomials and so are you going to use so you're going to use this to give an ordering on the monomials Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, so there are some, uh, there are some things. So, okay, well, why don't you continue? Then we can understand better. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's all, it's all easy. You have to just uh, arrange them in the correct uh, sequence. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. So you can continue with the properties. Okay, that's fine. That's all, okay. These two properties are directly coming from here, okay. 
but then but then this is not a condition right i don't know because these are some properties of the ordering but okay we will keep it and see later why why maybe this is being called condition for some reason fine then what do you do next I'm just writing this again, ordering on monomials. So one is a lexicographic. Okay, so what is this? monomials yeah so you take two monomials uh, x power alpha and x power beta uh, monomials okay then Hmm. Hmm. So wait, wait. So what is the purpose of this? Okay, not needed. Okay. The first non zero. In this. Uh, from the left is uh, negative. No, why why not uh, 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 non-positive? Non-positive. That is okay. Or no, yeah, because it it's possible that alpha is equal to beta, so then also it's less than equal to beta. If alpha is equal to beta, then also you should include it, right? Right. So if 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 alpha is equal to beta, then uh, your any definition of order should say that x to the alpha is less than x to the beta. Right. And if you say that the first, uh, oh, right, first non zero term, ah, then I think your definition is fine, but uh, uh, maybe, yeah, but you said, okay, well, you said if you say first non zero term, then you should say is positive, uh, sorry, is negative, is negative. Uh, or or maybe you should add this or alpha equal to beta. Right. Because it's less than equal to, right? You've told me less than equal to, not less than. So if it's an ordering, then two equal things should also be equal in the ordering, right? Or 
less than equal to in the order in. No, but if it is strict, then okay, but then it will not be a partial order, right? You, I mean, what is a partial order? A partial order on any set is a relation which is reflexive and transitive and so on. So you want it to be reflexive also. Like this is fine. You can say this. You can say that this means this. But then you have to also say what eventually you have to say what this means. Do you see the point, right? You you can you can define this, but you have to also say what this means. So you can define it at once. Okay, so this is uh this is just uh um it's it's a requirement of partial order, right? If any, wherever you're defining partial order. So, I mean, it's a very trivial thing, but uh, still, I mean, it is just something which you have to keep in mind. Okay, fine. Yes. So you have defined lexicographic order. Fine, this is just the dictionary order. How we search, uh, yeah, books in the dictionary. So first letter is A, then Second letter is B or something, then we, yeah. But what happens after this? Fine, we've defined this. Yeah. You decide, you have to decide if that ordering is needed or not in Grobner basis. I don't know. So, yeah, but you can define it. It's fine if you want. Define the second ordering. Right. So, it is degree lexicographic ordering. Okay, what is this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there should be something. If it is equal, then you apply lexicography. Right. So uh, then, then that's the point. So now you have to say this. Uh, means you have to. I would say it like this, and then you see. So either, right? This kind of thing, right? First uh, condition and then second condition. So either, x either. Sorry. Degree of x power alpha is less than, and now here, here you are saying strict, strictly less than. So yeah, and I can understand there is a reason why here we are putting strict, right? Either this, uh, or uh, it is equal. And right. So here I will call lexicographic. 
right and here we will if if if, if there is some other notation you can tell me otherwise we will use this notation okay good it's fine so then we have dl uh, yeah is this strictly less than or is it like this what or maybe here it doesn't matter because yeah Is this correct? Okay. So is this thing a uh, total order, the degree lexicograph? Yes, that you can check later, right? That this both both these both these are total orders. Okay. I mean, whenever you see a order, that you should means one. The natural question is. Are these things total orders, right? And uh, yeah, that is the first question. And just uh, take some examples, right? Where in one of them it is less than equal to, and in the other one it's greater becomes greater than equal to, right? To get a feel for these things, right? So examples and total order check okay so fine we have just defined some ordering but then what what do you do with this Hmm. Okay. Of that monomial or of that polynomial. Okay. Right. So title should be maybe leading terms. with respect to lexicographic and degree lexicographic ordering. Uh, so maybe, so we don't need to define this, it's already clear, right? Yeah. But uh, can you give me an example? Hmm? Right. Yeah, I'll just x one square x cube x x cube. What is x? Huh? Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
ओके विथ रीअरेंज सॉरी आई कुंट फॉलो यू रीअरेंज विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू लेक्सिकोग्राफिक ऑर्डरिंग राइट फर्स्ट ऑर्डरिंग ओके सो लेट मी राइट दैट ना वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू डू सो अरेंज अरेंज द टर्म्स विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू lexicographic ordering from left are you going to do it from left meaning uh, ascending from left or descending from left okay right so how we usually do right okay mm -hmm. right okay sorry yes because it has larger degree okay and yeah Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So you tell. Yeah, I know. But we assumed. Then we kind of assumed that this is the ordering which we are starting with. I. I, I mean, implicitly, we did not say it. But implicitly, this was the assumption, kind of. Yeah. So is this what you you want to say? This right? That uh, initially, yeah. Is that does that have a name? no so uh that does not have a name uh, yeah you see you it does not need a name because already in lexicographic ordering it's mentioned like this right if the polynomial is x1 up to xn then uh, then you defined earlier though this is the coefficient of x1 power of index index and so on so everything is clear even formally speaking and obviously intuitively we all understand uh, these things i suppose we are just making it very precise so yeah okay rather elaborately <laughs> doing it okay which is maybe good yeah i have a question here maybe you can try this so can can you define so you have defined uh, degree lexicographic ordering and lexicographic ordering can you define uh, just uh, degree ordering meaning i 
is can you define a um, okay so what what is that only only degree ordering so i mean it, it this is uh, this could have multiple answers okay this could have multiple answers so yeah And even uh, uh, even see if it has an ordering, if, if if it's an order or not, or if it's a partial order or not. So yeah, you can think about that. actually. So it is sort of okay. I'll just try to say it a little bit because what I'm thinking, I'm just thinking. So I'm just saying it. So I will define degree ordering just by comparing the degrees of the monomials. Okay, so I will say that a monomial this is greater than or equal to the monomial this, if and only if uh, degrees. Yeah. Okay. So the question, first question is, is this a partial order? Okay. So of course, like you have these two monomials which are like uh, not equal, meaning uh, so equality notion is already there, right? In monomials. Partial order is not there, but equality, there is a canonical equality. So this uh, equality and non-equality. So these two are not equal, but then their degrees are equal, right? So, yeah, so is this, uh, is this a partial order? So if you have, a, if you have a, a set in which two things are not equal, but in your partial order, they are equal, then uh, in your relation they are equal then is such a thing uh, can such a thing be called a partial order uh, yes or no like the def from the definition of partial order so so you have to check that so you see x x comma y are uh, uh, are equal okay in the partial order meaning uh, yeah well, I mean, x comma, uh, so what, sorry, I'm sorry. So what does it mean to be equal, right? I'm saying that like x comma y is in the partial order, right? Degree is there, but I'm just saying abstractly. So x comma y is related and y comma x is related. Okay. This means that x is equal to y, right? But here that is not being satisfied, right? You see, so it's not a partial order, right? Okay. So now the question is, uh, can you quotient? Can you quotient the collection of, can you put a relation on the monomials so that this becomes a partial order? And of course you can put a relation. So you just say that, I mean, I will say that you will define, define that two monomials are equal if their degrees are equal. You can try to do that kind of thing and see if you, if you get anything interesting. Basically you see these kind of considerations are very interesting because what you are basically doing in this is basically taking a polynomial and uh, collecting the homogeneous components. Right. So all the terms of, of for one degree you are keeping in one place, all the terms of degree two you are keeping in one place, kind of like that. And that's what you are doing here also in the lexicographic ordering, a degree lexicographic ordering. First you are doing that. Uh, putting them in the boxes according to their degrees and then you are studying them, right? So you can think where this kind of thing can be useful. Okay, yeah. Yeah, homogeneous, uh, by, if you have seen projective, anything anything projective, then you can try to relate it. projective variety or projective space. Like projective space you may have seen, like you have the plane and the lines are the points. So all the lines are, we call them one, one point. So what does that mean? So how is that related to this? You can... Anyways, uh, I suppose this is, uh, basically I think the main point was that, uh, which you can uh, take home is that you have ordering, uh, you have if something which is not an ordering, but then you, you, you can quotient it to get an ordering, okay? And this kind of thing is actually quite, uh, ubiquitous, if I may say, like it comes up in many places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you have to sometimes uh, change the set a little bit 
to to uh, to get that your uh, relation is a partial order okay yeah okay but then what happens so you have given examples of leading terms and then Any ideal in the polynomial ring of n variables. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Any or okay, any order, uh, what does it mean? Yeah, for each term, for each, okay, yeah, for each element in I, okay, so let F be I, then term order on F, what does that mean? F is just a single thing. So what does it mean to say order? Yes, but uh, right, but arrange what? Arrange what? Arrange the terms of F? Right, so you just say arrange the terms of F. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so arrange the terms or uh, maybe we'll say monomials because uh, yeah, terms is fine uh, because but yeah terms of f uh, uh, by mm -hmm. then what do you do One one non-zero polynomial. So con consider a set of non-zero polynomial. Okay. 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 Right. Okay, so now now we we are the much awaited definition coming. Grobner basis. Okay, so G one up to G S is a Grobner basis. Okay, if
-hmm. Monomial ideal. So it's an ideal generated by monomials. Okay. Is that is that the definition? Okay, fine. Okay. Then what do you do? So let's take that definition, fine. Then Hmm. Yes. Okay. I okay. Hmm. Such that. Okay. Uh, okay. Leading monomial of GI. Monomial of GI. A okay, uh, should divide um yeah so that is with respect to greater with respect to the term order right okay uh leading ah uh. So it's leading, leading, <laughs> leading, uh, divide, uh, leading the leading. Yeah, that is better, right? Yes. So let's do that. And also we have to fix this, uh, one order. So let's say lexicographic order, right? So this will be Grobner basis with respect to lexicographic order. Of course, later on, you may say that it's with respect to any order that you can define, but for currently we are defining with, uh, yeah, uh, or maybe, yeah, let's not, uh, let me not uh, divert now, right? Let's continue like this. Then we'll talk about that point later. There exists I in S. Uh, such that LM is in small or capital
اوكي اني اني ثينك ال ام ال ام اوف جي ديفايدز ار رايت ال ام اوف جي اي ديفايدز ال ام اوف اف اوكي هم هم او ذس از ذا ديفينيشن رايت هم Yeah, so what is it? Mm -hmm. They have leading terms. Okay, so ideal generated by leading terms of G1 up to Gn, Gs. Okay. What about this ideal? So this is a monomial ideal. So so what what property should it have according to the definition? No, no. You do you do you mean to say that this is equal to the so this collection this ideal is equal to this? That. what i mean is that the leading terms of uh, over all the polynomials in the ideal right these two are equal is is this i uh, to my question is is this the, the definition okay fine so, so <laughs> right okay then it's good okay and so is this, is there anything else in the definition no and then do you see that these two are same definitions the same right so there is no problem i mean you can use any one of them as well 
nice okay so it's fine so we have a two equivalent definitions but fine this is a definition so what 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 next what happens after this okay fine that's okay defined defined uh, grobner basis so you can see that uh, this g1 up to gs generates the ideal i in that is fine and there so it's like they generate the ideal i and the leading terms also generate the ideal i sorry i mean not the ideal i but the leading terms of the ideal i right so it's an extra it's an extra thing yeah so well so the first question is that does grobner basis exist <laughs> right so that's the first thing so given an ideal i in k x1 up to xn right so one one thing which you know by hilbert basis theorem is finitely generated okay good so you should uh, uh, see the see that and in fact now uh, one of the proofs i suppose is kind of constructing a grobner basis okay so if ha ah, right so yes yes so no so the algorithm is there i suppose but uh, even if you look at the classical proof okay the classical proof in any old book even that's just when oh, probably there was no algorithm i don't know whatever the officially the term algorithm was not there maybe so even the proof uh, uh, implicitly construct a grob constructs kind of a grobner basis i think okay yeah but still uh, one of the things is to prove that i has a grobner basis so let's try to prove this now right otherwise what will you do? what will we do so this is something to do i has a grobner basis yeah. so sh should we should we do this or uh, if this or if you want to do something else let's yeah let's try this let's see yeah so let's try to construct a grobner basis With respect to maybe, so we'll be considering it, uh, constructing it with respect to, hmm? Anything, yeah, any ordering, yeah, any, any partial ordering and any, any order on any, uh total order on monomials respect to any total order oh wait so yeah because yeah Yeah, I really have don't have idea now. So yeah, why would you how would you get uh... Yeah, of course, I mean, it is possible, it is easy uh, if you use the Hilbert basis theorem. So, uh, 
एफ वन अप टू जी वन लेट से जी एस बट आई बट ओके मेरा आई डोंट आई वॉन्ट टू कंसिडर समथिंग लाइक दिस दैट यू टेक ऑल द लीडिंग मीनिंग जस्ट यूज दस्ट यूज द सेकेंड डेफिनेशन जस्ट टेक दिस जे द अदर आइडियल जे विच इज आई विल डू लाइक दिस टेक जे एंड विच इज सॉर्ट ऑफ टेकिंग ऑल द लीडिंग मोनोमियल्स ओवर द एफ्स ओके टेक दिस आइडियल this ideal is also i'll apply hilbert basis theorem on this ideal okay so this ideal is finally ha huh, finitely generated and let's say that uh, this is uh, let me use the same no, no actually it's not good use the same notation ah oh, one minute one minute there is a call hello हाँ क्या मेरे पास तो व्हाट्सएप नहीं है हाँ तो अभी हम अभी तो हम तो थोड़ा देर बाद अभी हमको तो कॉलेज भी जाना है अच्छा ठीक है तो हम तो डॉक्यूमेंट्स पापा को पता है क्या है कौन सा भेजना है पापा को पता है ना पापा को पता है ठीक है ठीक है तो हम दस मिनट बाद भेजेंगे अभी तो हम नहीं कर पाएंगे दस मिनट बाद करेंगे हाँ हाँ ठीक right yes yeah so if we take a, if we take a generating set for this ideal right and then you take the corresponding polynomials in the ideal i right uh, let's see i mean uh, is that is that uh, not correct because you're taking these monomials so then you will get some monomials some let's say x alpha 1 x till x alpha n right which will generate this ideal uh oh yeah but 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 there is a problem why will this be generated by finitely many monomials that is not clear actually hmm ओके हाँ नॉट ए मोनोमियल बट बाई मोनोमियल्स ओके देर इज जनरेटेड बाई फाइनेटली मेनी मोनोमियल्स थैंक यू सो दैट्स डिक्शन लेवल विच आई नीडेड सो सो वी आई डोंट नो द प्रूफ बट वी कैन जस्ट यूज इट फॉर नाउ बिकॉज गुड सो एटलीस्ट आई कैन प्रेडिक द लेमा इवन आई डोंट नो राइट सो दैट इज द गुड थिंग so then then you are done because then you now you say that i uh, uh, yeah then i will be generated by the corresponding polynomials right because these this will correspond to some polynomial right f alpha 1 and so on and of course this will generate i and this will be a grobner basis because by definition two so nice i mean we, we see you see how the second definition makes it uh, more transparent this particular point this particular thing yeah that's right and then i mean i don't know you think about dickson's lemma and if it's interesting you can tell me i hope it is but okay so let us uh, let us stop here okay uh, and yeah so 
so but yeah so what is the plan after this uh, do you want to continue reading this or i don't know 